begin with the latest on that trench collapse that killed a construction worker and hurt two others. Now tonight we learned that one of the injured workers is out of the hospital, but the other one is still being treated. Our Seth Kovar is covering this story. He joins us now from the newsroom with more on what else we've learned today. Seth. Yeah, we found out that OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, is investigating this case. And it was actually OSHA that told Gregory Police Chief Tony Cano that one of those two workers who got hurt is out of the hospital tonight. That's the good news. But tonight we're also hearing from a fellow construction worker about just how dangerous this job can be. We all know that every job has its risks. Some more so than others. And we found that out again yesterday. As Kasurik Land Improvement Crews did stormwater system work at some new apartments in Gregory, a trench caved in. 36-year-old Reynaldo Alaniz Rosales was killed. Injury or death on the job is always on the mind of fellow construction worker Eduardo Escobedo. There's always a constant danger, but you always have to be up and aware of your surroundings. Safety is always first, one of the priorities. Uh, shoring, if you're going anywhere deeper than five feet, you need shoring, of course. Whether or not shoring, a bracing system that helps prevent a collapse was in place in the trench yesterday, isn't clear, and neither is the trench's depth. There is a device at the site that looks like shoring, and only seeing the top of that ladder gives us some idea of how far down it goes. I got in touch with Amanda Kaserik today in hopes of getting some answers, but she said the construction company has no comment right now. We were informed that the Rosales family didn't want to talk to the media. Uh, it's very sad for the family that lost a gentleman and we are present with him. Workers were at the construction site today, but they too wouldn't talk to us. The trench remains roped off with caution tape. <laughs> While good news did come out today that one of the two workers who got hurt in the collapse is out of the hospital, for Escobedo, it's hard to get past losing a brother in hard hat. It's really sad that that kind of thing happens is a 33-year-old man. The other one is a 57-year-old man. They're both from Corpus Christi. Chief Cano didn't know which one is out of the hospital and which one remains there tonight. Lee? All right, thank you very much, Seth. OSHA now has up to six months to complete its investigation of this incident.